afternoon. Today is a Sunday and I've been in work and I slept in all the kind of bad ones. But Andrew was a saviour and he opened the shop for me. Uh, so today we've been working quite hard. We're just doing a massive trading. And also we are, I don't even know if you could see that. I'm working on the next mystery box of jewellery. Uh, so like like Loot Crate, except you can just buy a one-off. Um, we do mystery boxes of jewellery and that's about 40 quid's worth. And we sell them for 15 pounds. And I've always had this idea with them, because this is the first time I'm doing like the full, all the ideas I like, that with every single one, you get a free floating charm. And then if you buy five boxes, you get a free floating charm necklace to put all the floating charms in. But in the shop, I was like, well, how would I monitor that? So I had to make some sort of like loyalty card incentive thing. And I thought, the floating charms are tiny, because look, that's how tiny they are. They are so tiny that they'll just get lost in the box. So I was like, right. I've made like this little card and it says keep this card, collect five and get a free floating charm necklace and then there's little charms and that's a little pumpkin and that's a little little thing that says trick or treat. Doesn't that look so cute? Also you're seeing the stuff that you're meant to get in a mystery box so <laughs> you're getting behind the scenes but honestly I just I'm so happy with that I just think it looks so smart so clean I love it I'm so happy with it. Michael's here. Hello. He brought me coffee. Thank you, buddy. A long, long time ago, I was really into a video game, and I am just, I don't, I spent a stupid amount of money on a stupid accessory that I didn't need, but I had to have, and it, it didn't arrive, and I was like, where is it, where is it? I still don't know when it arrived, but I've just found someone hidden under a pile of other posts. <sighs> I don't even play it anymore. So I'm home now and I need to get food in me before I interview Mark Miller because I already feel a bit shaky that I'm that hungry. But um, yeah, if I'm stuck there for an hour and I know I can't eat and like I try not to even drink on there, I'm just, I'm gonna feel ill and I'll probably stop panic attacking because I know there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm making sure I eat now. However, I'm starting, trying to start a new diet, which means, ugh. It means so much stress. Basically, one of my friends, Amy, she's a cosplay friend I've met recently and she's always in my cosplay videos if she's cosplaying because her stuff is phenomenal. But she is um, a fitness instructor. I think she's just fitness instructing, but she's also like a nutritionalist and she helps people with food and stuff. And she actually has a website. I will put the website down below because whatever I describe this as will not do it justice. But yes, yeah, so her link will be below. And she is something called a paleo. And I never even heard of this, because I was asked, because she's got an amazing figure. And I was like, do you exercise? What do you do? And she said, I do weights, and that's about it. But I'm also a paleo. And I, my body took to it very well. And basically, paleo is, you can't have, I think it's farmed food. So like, you can't even have certain fruits, like bananas, oranges, bananas, oranges, pineapples. <laughs> but the main thing is you can't have dairy, grains, like wheat, bread, dough, stuff like that. And you can't even have peanuts. You can't have legumes. <laughs> but you can have nuts. Um, but you can't have peanuts. And it basically it's pretty much going back to what cavemen ate. So if a caveman didn't eat it, you probably shouldn't eat it. So it's basically a lot of meats, vegetables and fruit. The pr <laughs> and it, honestly, it just makes sense to me. You've got to avoid sugar. Sugar, I know, is terrible for you. It's awful. And I constantly try no processed food. I don't really eat a lot of processed food anyway, but I do eat some processed food. I'm not that conscious of what I eat, I, but I do eat a lot of fresh food. I have always tried to eat fresh. But yes, yeah, so, but I, eat, I do eat sugar and I know that I've started slipping. I, I've been drinking a lot of fizzy drinks lately. That's not good. That, that, that might as well, you might as well just been injecting yourself with cellulite and fat and diabetes. So I'm, I've really tried to kickstart this. Now, Amy gave me some advice. Apparently, she's, there's a, like a primal diet. And that's basically like how you have vegetarians and vegans. There's primal and paleo from what I've looked at. So uh, you can still, it's like a transitional diet, so you can still have coffee, dairy, I'm sure it's within a limited amount, so not the amount of cheese that I usually eat, but I don't, I try not to drink milk anyway because I just think the dairy industry is not a very good industry, ethically good industry, and to the point where I even try not to have cheese as much anymore, I have try, I try to have cheese once a week, and that's like my treat, but um, yeah, so... 
I am starting or trying to start a more maybe health benefiting diet. So yeah, it's not like, oh, well, I am trying to lose weight, but I'm not like, I'm like oh, I need to go on a diet and, and then I won't. I'm trying to change my lifestyle, how I consume food and how I think about food and what I eat. And my stomach is so bloated all the time. Like I look, I honestly can look pregnant sometimes and I don't think I'm that overweight. I do not like my body as it is and I definitely could do with losing some weight and definitely do with toning up. But overall, I don't think I'm like obese or anything. But my stomach is the worst part of me. It is always, it always just looks big and it always looks bloated. And it's why I always wear big baggy tops because I honest to God, I just hate my body at the moment. It's why I try not to date anymore. And to be very frank, it's why I think I'm pretty much asexual because I never want to sleep with anyone. I don't want to have sex with anyone. That's why I don't date people these days. I've been single for four months now and I think I've gone on three dates and even then I've had panic attacks over going on them dates and I've cancelled on many dates because I have panic attacks and and when anyone makes it very clear that they want to have sex with me I make it my body makes it very clear that that is just not on my mind right now and that could be a lot of things that could be that I'm just happy being single and that's what I want to do that's fine but I I know a big part of it is the idea of someone seeing my body right now I don't want to see my body right now, if I'm honest. I want to really fix that. And I've just noticed I've been walking in and out into a dark room. Like, <laughs> I do that when I when I talk, I walk. <laughs> but yeah, so that's... Lucy opens up for five minutes about sex and her body. Oh, there's a good line for the vlog. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not clickbait. Talked about it. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing a paleo diet. <laughs> Probably should have said what I'm eating. It's gammon and eggs and sweet potato chips because you can't have normal potatoes. You can't have white potatoes on a paleo diet. Apparently, I don't know why yet. I need to research that, but you can have sweet potatoes. So I'm having sweet potatoes, gammon and eggs. So I am about to um, interview Mark Miller on the Gammon Dames podcast. And as usual, everything is going wrong. I, 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 I curled my hair and it's just gone horribly, horribly wrong. And I, I've just been told I have to help host the questions. Now, usually I am obviously a, a presenter on there, but Holly is the one that drives the conversation. She's the one that makes the things change subject, move forward and stuff like that. I'm not very good at that. And now I have to do the things and I've had to make this little makeshift office where my laptop has to rest on a box and a thing that's still not high enough. And a, uh, uh. Holly's having an absolute fit because she's just logged on with Sarah and they can't hear each other. Um, and she doesn't know whose problem it is. So, sh sugar, sugar. So I'm quickly logging on as quickly as I quickly as I can to fix all this. And my laptop has a million things running, so it's panicking. <laughs> that was your tree cheese. <laughs> I just interviewed Mark Miller. <laughs> I, 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 Holly said she couldn't stop laughing because of my face the whole time, but I, 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 I talked. I not only talked, I put Mark Miller in his place at one point saying like, you're not the only one who's busy or something like that. And then um, I, we were making jokes, we were laughing. It was all so casual. Mark, every time I speak to Mark Miller, I forget how nice he is. I know he's a nice guy, but I forget how nice. Um, but this is the longest we've ever spoke, obviously. And he was only meant to have like 20 minutes free, but he's actually here the whole hour for the whole podcast. And we just all four of us talked and laughed and it was amazing. And it was just, it's so amazing. Like, I don't get starstruck, but he is the reason I own a comic shop. He is the reason 
I have all these comics. He is the reason I do reviews. He is the reason that I'm on YouTube because I originally started doing reviews. Therefore, I spread onto vlogs. So anything that you enjoy of my content is technically all because of him writing Civil War nine, ten years ago. And then me picking it up six years ago at my very first Comic Con. You know, it's, it's crazy. So, yeah. Uh, and I got to tell him that. I got to tell him he's the reason I own a comic shop and I think it meant so much to me because like I was saying in yesterday's vlog when Joey messaged me saying my videos had influenced him to get into comics and now he's writing a comic it I know how good that made me feel how much that meant to me to hear that so I was doing the same to Mark I was saying Mark you are the reason my life is the way it is and he was like, I really like hearing that, thank you. And he must hear it a lot more than I do. But I'm really glad I got to tell him because anybody who knows me knows that Civil War is the reason I own a comic shop. So, <sighs> I'm feeling good. My cheeks actually hurt, so. <sighs> Here's a question. Would you eat profiteroles that were four days out of date? They don't look off. They don't, presentation wise, they don't look great. But uh, they, uh, they're four days out, they apparently sell by date was 12. Forgot about them. I'm really hungry right now, because I haven't had any carbs. I know I have, I had sweet potatoes. Oh, because I'm fat. <laughs> and uh, I really want something to nibble on. And they're kind of calling to me, which is carbs and dairy at the same time, but oh, I want them. How do we not understand this by now? Lucy has so weak will. <sighs> but they're four days out of date. <clears throat> See, this is why I ask really weird questions on Twitter all the time, because you guys may potentially save my life. <laughs> I, I just posted like, can you eat, would you eat profit rolls that are four days out of date? And then most people were like, no, Lucy, no. Put them, put them down. <laughs> and Justin Lee Collins actually commented saying, no, don't, trust me. I used to work in a supermarket, put them in the bin. And I read his tweet just as I took the first bite into a profit roll. And I was like, so I sent him a picture just going, uh oh. <laughs> uh, but I have eaten some of the chocolate off them, so. I still might die.